these guys add that extra hint of sexiness to the sci-fi genre on the big screen. Good morning, Becky boys. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hottest sci-fi studs in movies. What do they want now? For this list, we're looking at hunks that are stunners both inside and out. The charmers we've chosen reside in a science fiction universe in movies, and are usually good or at least popular with the ladies. We'll be focusing on fine-looking specimens in their human form only, so that means we'll be steering away from superheroes as well as supernatural and fantasy-themed characters. Buckle up. Number 10, Theo Ferrant, Children of Men. Are we uh, planning a sing-along? Good. I'm gonna take a nap. The year is 2027. Worldwide human infertility is reigning supreme, and the prospect of complete human extinction looms ever closer. Among it all is Theo Farron, an established citizen of the United Kingdom who acts as a symbol of hope against a nation that detains refugees. She's pregnant. Now you know what's at stake. His determination and willingness to save a young pregnant refugee named Key reveals his heroic nature and turns him into the ultimate protector. You okay? How is she? Annoyed. He's the man you can count on as both a fighter and a leader. While his rugged, half-shaven look is a real treat for the eyes, it's also a reflection of his courage and the challenging conditions that surround him. Shit, I'm bleeding! No, 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 I'm bleeding it's everywhere! It's me. What? Number 9. Vincent Anton Freeman, Gattaca. I was never more certain of how far away I was from my goal than when I was standing right beside it. Despite his genetic faults, this man is full of determination and the willpower to constantly persist with his goals. You want to know how I did it? This is how I did it, Anton. I never saved anything for the swim back. Though Vincent Freeman is intelligent and aspires to work for the Gattaca Aerospace Corporation, his chances are small due to his invalid genetic profile. So he uses his smarts to borrow samples from a now paralyzed star athlete with the right genetic makeup to make the cut. I made up my mind to resort to more extreme measures. The man who showed up at my doorstep didn't exactly advertise in the yellow pages. Vincent's commitment sees him consistently remove skin flakes, loose hair, or any trace of himself to keep his job. He also trains hard and adapts his body to meet the corporation's expectations, and the results are quite breathtaking. In addition to having a body that's beyond perfect, he's a passionate love machine when it comes to the bedroom. In short, he's a hunk that seriously deserves a medal for looking that good while running. Jerome, Jerome, the metronome. We could play the piano by that heartbeat of his. Number 8, John Connor, Terminator Salvation. This is John Connor. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. In the year 2018, an experienced John Connor continues to lead the resistance against Skynet. And though we've seen him in previous installments of the Terminator franchise, Christian Bale's version is hands down the hottest of them all. How's it look? I'll live. Let her go! Though he's now married and about to be a father, there's no denying Bale represents John Connor in his peak of attractiveness. He comes complete with a rugged, sexy look, which though it sees him covered in sweat and dirt for most of the film, just further adds to his physical appeal. Command wants us to fight like machines. They want us to make cold, calculated decisions. But we are not machines. And if we behave like them, then what is the point? Though many have argued this wasn't the strongest film of the franchise, Bale's portrayal of the character as a family man and a resistance fighter sure was a positive. Who built you? My name is Marcus Wright. You think you're human? Number seven, Rally Beckett, Pacific Rim. I think this guy's dead, but let's check for a pulse. He's among the strongest Jaeger pilots in Pan Pacific Defense Corps, excelling in martial arts and being highly skilled with weapon use in battle. Remember, it's about compatibility. It's a dialogue, not a fight. But I'm not gonna dial down my moves. Though the sexy ranger steps away from fighting for some time, Beckett returns upon being convinced to do so after being summoned to Hong Kong by the commanding officer of the pilot program, Idris Elba's handsome Marshal Stacker Pentecost. Today we face the monsters that are at our door and bring the fight to them? Today we are canceling the apocalypse! Beckett's loyalty and commitment towards defending the world from kaiju attacks aren't his only assets, though, as he rocks blonde hair, blue eyes, and some of the finest muscles in film. How could anybody resist him? Mako, this is worth fighting for. We don't have to just obey him. 
Number 6. Del Spooner, iRobot There's no way my luck is that bad. Though he has cybernetic parts, Del Spooner distrusts robots. And this despite having to live in a world in which it is normal day-to-day -day practice for such machines to serve humans. You know, somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. But he is also courageous and comes with a quirky sense of humor. Oh, hell no. This helps him develop a controlled approach to tricky situations, notably similar in style to his portrayal of the charming Agent J from the Men in Black franchise. I gotta go. What about the flashy thing? I'll flash you some other time. In iRobot, Will Smith rocks the badass nature of his character, with Spooner's tall, muscular build perfectly complementing the striking black leather overcoat he wears. And how about that opening shower scene? And of course, we can't help but love the hero who saves humanity from being overpowered by robots. You have so got to die. Number 5. Eames, Inception Listen, if you're going to perform Inception, you need imagination. Tom Hardy has portrayed a variety of hot characters throughout his career, but we think his appearance as Eames is among the sexiest. Why? The character is a bad boy with the even more badass job as a forger, meaning he has the awesome ability to mirror the physical appearance of anyone. You look a bit back here. Though he has this ability, we prefer his own real form of a sturdy man with a brooding lone wolf attitude. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. It's a combination of Hardy's fiercely sexy English accent, sarcastic humor, overall charm, and impressive physique that make him the standout character when it comes to his looks. But it's not like he isn't in good company. Yep, we should also give a special mention to Joseph Gordon-Levitt's smooth-talking, yet highly intelligent Arthur. Quick, give me a kiss. They're still looking at us. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Number 4. Owen Grady, Jurassic World you just went and made a new dinosaur? In this fourth film of the Jurassic Park series, Chris Pratt brings to life Owen Grady, complete with a cheeky, flirtatious, and hilarious persona. So Mr. Mizrani wanted me to consult with you. You want to consult here or in my bungalow? Grady comes in the form of a tall, muscular, fine-looking man, which along with this lovable personality fetches plenty of attention. He's also the epitome of a daring, courageous, and confident individual who takes pride in his impressive work as a Velociraptor trainer. Stay right there. Good. Close the gate. Meanwhile, Grady's empathetic nature sees him develop a mutual respect between himself and his raptors, rather than seeing them as merely wildlife. Without him, who knows if they would have ever stopped the Indominus Rex. His charisma and determination don't only win him a spot here, but also win him the girl in the end. So what do we do now? Probably stick together. Number 3. Thomas A. Anderson, a.k.a. Neo, The Matrix Franchise You're empty. So are you. The main protagonist of the science fiction trilogy, Neo has no problems impressing audiences with a suave, polished look, all while leading the charge in saving humanity from the machines. Despite his superhuman ability to free his mind from the simulated matrix thanks to his striking speed, strength, and agility, he exists as a human being. To be honest, we can't imagine anyone else portraying this role in such a refined manner as Keanu Reeves did as this ultimate peacemaker. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. All of these traits combined sure make him an eye-catcher, but also among the most memorable movie characters in history. Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. My name. Is Neo. Number two, James T. Kirk, Star Trek. Your planet was just destroyed, your mother murdered, and you're not even upset. If you are presuming that these experiences in any way impede my ability to command this ship, you are mistaken. And yet you were the one who said fear was necessary for command. Casting Chris Pine in the legendary role of Kirk likely struck a very delighted key with the ladies. For a moment there, I thought you were just a dumb hick who only has sex with farm animals. Wow. Not only. <laughs> As the eventual captain of the USS Enterprise, his leadership and ability to take control in dreadful situations make his character all the more appealing. If you think you have the tactical advantage, you fire on that ship, even if we're still on board, that's an order. 
Meanwhile, he brings a certain confidence to his sexual encounters, with its seductive nature and keen eye for hot female cadets proving that his talents go beyond his valuable commanding skills. Oh, my roommate. Oh, I thought you said she was gone for the night. Well, obviously she's not. Quick, you've got to just get into bed. I'm just, I'm, look, just get in bed. There's something incredibly attractive about a man in a suit, with Kirk's Starfleet uniform no exception here, as it does plenty of justice to the man wearing it. See? We are getting to know each other. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. I can't promise anyone a ride home, but if you're with me, the world needs you now. Where's my minority report? Do I even have one? <laughs> Don't. Got this. Number one, Han Solo, Star Wars franchise. Stone. I like the sound of that. Although he's been branded a scruffy looking nerf herder, who's scruffy looking? We see him as a classic character with razor sharp wit, reckless scoundrel traits, and a relatable personality we can't help but love. The cave is collapsing! This is no cave! Harrison Ford is known for bringing hunky characters to life, such as Deckard from Blade Runner, and he again takes the brownie points here as the prestigious captain of the Millennium Falcon. Uh, I said turn her around! I'm gonna throw a power on the French shield! His character develops from a simple human smuggler to a leader that finds the value in teamwork and compassion, which is super hot. While Poe Dameron's sexiness shouldn't be ignored, we're awarding a spot to Han Solo here for his daring attitude, outlaw charm, and awesome overall look. I love you. I know. Do you agree with our list? I'm impressed. Who do you think is the hottest male from a sci-fi movie? I know Kung Fu. For more good-looking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. You guys must be way down on your recruiting quota for the month. Well, if you're half the man your father was, Jim, Starfleet could use you.